You are obsessed with tennis and Shakespeare. True. Like Those Shakespeare two things must... are true. I think Shakespeare is kind of like our greatest literary inheritance, and um, I, I suppose I fell in love with it because of being taken to the theatre by my mum when I was a teenager, and um, and seeing amazing actors give amazing performances. Um, but you know, and and also like, if you're a tennis, I'm a tennis fan. I was at the Wimbledon final this year. I like the tennis noises. Sure, that. That just sounds like me clicking my tongue. Yes, it's better than what mine was, which was, ah, yeah. ah, ah, okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> 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 and then you get the crowd going, ooh, <laughs> wah, <gasps> <gasps> all that stuff. It's Love pretty, tennis. Pretty exciting. I love a cup of tea. So yeah. that's the cliche lives. The cliche lives, yeah. Okay. I love a cup of coffee as well, mm -hmm. um, but at a certain point in a grey English afternoon, when it's raining outside and the sun has gone down and you have work to do. If someone presents you with a brew, you know, a well-made brew, like, you're not gonna say no to that. Day made. Day made. <laughs> Chocolate hobnob. I'm hop sorry, a what? <laughs> that a sounds hobnob? rude, doesn't it? A hobnob is a kind of oatmeal biscuit <laughs> coated in a lovely layer of milk chocolate. Hobnob. Which is an accompaniment to a cup of tea.